Oh, whoa, 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 what's up, everyone? We got some flying dogs going through the air, and let me address that right now. Yes, if you type in... Woof. Woof. You'll get flying dogs. So don't worry. You're not going to need to call your local priest at all. Just chill out and enjoy the show. So right now, here in part 3 of this Barbarossa walkthrough and the Holy Roman Emperor, we took down Burgundy, if you remember last time, you can check out their name. It's all crossed out, that's good to see. And we're going to take down their lowly brother, Swabia, no not Swablu. We're going to be the Altaria here in this conflict and we're just going to wipe them off the map. No, we're going to we're going to swab them off the map. Yeah, that sounds intimidating. Uh, with the barrage of the hand cannoneer. Okay, I, I like the hand cannon near a little bit more than the Janissary just because I'm not a fan of the Turks. But we'll get to that in a later episode. So right now, we're going to move our units out of this base. You want to keep them protected from some of these Bavarian knights that have been coming through. You can still see the remains of their bodies seeping into the water. I, w I wish units stayed there a little bit longer, for sure. I'd, I'd like to see a huge, just a huge group of dead bodies laying on the map. Just kind of, It's kind of satisfying understanding how many units you've taken down. It's a little uh, egotistical too, but when I am and I, when aren't I, when I am and I, you know, when I'm, when am I not unintelligent and uh, screwing up the English language as well? So, Mr. Pikeman, I don't know what you're thinking you're doing there, but uh, I'm gonna take you down. So we're gonna move these units up here. We're gonna put our paladins in uh, defensive t attack mode because, as you know, they're very aggressive, and we're not gonna do that to Teutonic Knights because. You know how lazy bums they are, and we all love bums, but not these guys. Uh, Monk, you can stay out there by the gold miners, because we're going to need you to go get that relic from Swabia in a little bit from them, from for us, from them, whatever you want to say. So what a good strategy is to try to attack this blacksmith with these paladins, because paladins are some good units to have to take out the immediate unit Swabia has, because they really don't have strong units. They have the pikemen, so it's probably not a good idea to get them in the fray with the pikes. So we're going to bring them back. Draw them into the hand cannon near assault. Make sure you have plenty of hand cannon nears. Probably the most of your units are going to be hand cannon nears at this point to be the most effective. They're a little inaccurate, but if you got plenty of them, they'll make up all uh, the make up for it. So just keep moving your trebuchets ahead, slowly but surely, and keep moving your hand cannon nears ahead, keeping them in the range of your trebuchets, protecting them, and doing that good old stuff. So Swabia starts off so. Powerful, so cocky, rushing in on my units, thinking they're gonna mow me down, but they're not. And frick, those mangonels will do a uh, hurting on your hand cannoneers. So you're gonna have some of those paladins in their way, making sure that you're not getting mowed down. And we're gonna take these brothers out. Can we help a brother out there? And no, I'm not a gospel. I'm not in a gospel choir at all. No, it's not happening right now. So. I'm don't make any comments right there. Maybe I am. Maybe the Manganel is. Maybe the monks are. I can see a monks being in the gospel choir. A little out of place there, but whatever. When aren't monks out of place? They're wearing some interesting gowns they got going on. They have some staffs. So you're going to... Uh, another thing that's good about Swabia, they really have no place to go other than the Saxon base. Because if they go down here, they're going to get hit by... Uh, where am I getting hit? Better not be from Manganel. Got to tell you that much. So you want to move forward here. Bring these paladins up, try to take down this barracks quickly, but keep them away from those pikemen, because once again, they will do a number on your cavalry, as we all know, and they're not ha any how bad he is. Um, unpack these dudes, because, there we go. You, you can leave these guys on aggressive mode, because I tell you, can cannoneers, lovely, slowly rate of fire, a little bit different from our friendly mangadias that we had, but, I mean, it's gunpowder. It makes you feel so powerful. You can just kill some Aztecs. Hopefully none of you are dissing me right now and are aztec and if that's uh, how you say it. Or Mayan. I, I like the Plumbed Archer, although I'm a little turned off by their mushroom or something on their head. And I'm getting a telephone call right now and... Screw it. I'm not going to answer the phone. Seriously, I, I, I'm not answering this. I'm not cutting this video right now, so I'm sorry who's ever calling on the phone. Usually it's not useful, not... Not, not even worth answering the phone, so I'm not going to even bother right now. We'll take down that monastery and guess what happened to the monastery. If you know the song I'm referencing in Age of Empires 2, the Age of Kings soundtrack, don't you think that that's... 
Oh, good thing I didn't answer that. Huh. I thought it was my dad and he's going to be like, Oh, son, why didn't you answer the phone earlier? Well, I had a, some important business to take care of. No, some bid ass. And what are you? Are you just normal Teutonic Knights? That's pathetic. Wow, I just... You just... You're just dehumanizing me and trying... Thinking... You're just belitt belittling me. So we're all oh, crossmen. Actually, crossmen will eventually kill your units. Uh, Teutonic Knights because they're quicker than your Teutonic Knights and that will not end good. So we're going to send a paladin over there and make some do with or whatever. I, I don't know that expression anymore. I don't, I just butcher expressions when I play this game, apparently. Uh, and university is not necessary to take down and hopefully none of them are sneaking away anywhere. But once again, they're probably up here getting some wood. Wood, please. No, I'm not running out of food. And there we go. We got a Swabian Lumberjack. These guys, yeah, the only guys that aren't Teutons, or uh, they are, uh, I believe, Austria are the Goss. Burgundy is obviously Frankish. Um, what's this guy? Oh, he's going for the Treb. Uh, just mold these guys. This should be the last uh, Swabian villagers out there. And Mongols are obviously Mongols, because if you can't figure that out, well, you're going to have to do something about that. That deer's darting around everywhere. Who's calling me now? I don't know if you can hear the phone, but it's ringing off the hook. Good thing it's not my cell phone, because that would be blaring into the microphone. And I have an interesting ringtone right now. Air, Air Force One, so I don't... I don't know if that'll... You'll be able... I think you'll be judging me if I play that. And that won't be good. Actually, I don't care if you judge me. I'm freaking cue ball. How can you not judge this kid? Alright, they should be... They should be out of here. Alright, good. They resigned, so that's it. That means they have a couple units left, but... Who cares? Or maybe buildings. Freaking mills! Yes. You know what? I've decided... Thank you, NFMS, for bringing this up. Um, I, every time I say your name, it's it's like a tongue twister. I gotta say, it's, it's a tongue twister. But um, I like reading your comments, so that's alright. Um, we're gonna bring these units back down. And we only lost two guys. That is being efficient. Let me guess. Let me guess. I probably lost a two-tonic knight. And maybe not. Or maybe over there. Never know. Uh, we're gonna unpack these guys. Or pack them up. I cannot get that straight. I'm like dyslexic with my trebuchet. Um, lingo. But speaking of lingo, yes, I will be probably making a video describing all the different lingo that I use to describe different units that I picked up along the way. And I better do that because eventually it's going to grow so big and new people, new subscribers will not know what I'm talking about and will, I don't know, maybe remove some scalp and hair and do some of that. You just don't want to sub subject yourself to that kind of pain. So, what's this guy doing up there? Oh, of course it's a paladin. Those cocky paladins. And Diablo, thank you for leaving that comment about uh, different units and comparing them. I will answer it when I can a little bit later, but I got some stuff to take care of right now. And I did just take care of the first part of my Q&A, so if you are really wanting my Q&A, no, don't drop it off the castle because that won't work. If you're wanting to watch my Q&A, that's good news because I just recorded the first part of the Q&A video a good 10 minutes ago. So check that out as soon as possible. It's probably going to be uploaded tomorrow. Um, it's probably going to be about two more parts after that. I didn't get as many questions as I wanted. I probably got about 70 from like 600 subscribers, but it's all good. I got some sheep there. Sheep are a good source of food. And Rick Tommy, I'm getting. I'm going to answer your uh, quote question as soon as I can. Sorry about that, bro. Um, so after Swabia, the way you can do it, you can either go for Saxony first. Or you can go for Bavaria. I usually go for the weakest, but I like to go... You know what? I'm going to change it up. So, mm, oh, I forgot what the song was from. All right. Uh, I'm going to go for Bavaria. The Bavarian Lodge, which is a restaurant down the street from me. Uh, um, it, it's next to a Russian restaurant. <coughs> so apparently we're going Eastern European there. But I will be taking them out. There are They're the only legitimate walled city. Uh, Saxony has some walls, but it's not really not anything to do uh, all at. So we're going to heal up these units. Uh, probably get, you know, I, I don't care about the Teutonic Knights, and we have them. So I'm going to get two more of these guys. Um, and they're pretty easy to take down. They have a small ca a small base, uh, some jagged areas inside their, their town, uh, but really nothing to be, you know, scared of or nervous about going into them. Uh, you're, the biggest enemy and the most spread out enemy is Bohemia by far, so we probably aren't going to be going for them. We're going to be going for the other guys uh, to get the relics. Um, 
and at this point you should have plenty of resources and plenty of units so what you can do after you took down these two neighboring areas uh, it's good to take them out once again because you have all these resources freed up for you so you can plop down a lumber camp over there and if you want to get some more stone you can go over there you can go over there and I believe there's another stone pile around here over there yes way in the corner and don't you love corner resources I do too so we're gonna use this gold pile and hopefully it's not used up but burgundy once again these two weak the weakest enemies will leave the most resources for you so once again go for these guys first I, I at least I believe uh, Swabia will do some pesky attacking Bavaria surprisingly all they bring is knights but that's like the biggest threat you're gonna face this whole time all right monk are you you you're not doing your job for me you're not healing everybody up we're going in to take down Bavaria and I need my guys at full strength don't you realize that let's go pick it up or I'm gonna be throwing some smack talk down on you you want some smack talk I'm sure you do your book carrier that's a huge book it looks like the classic scribbles in there I don't know it looks like Hershey syrup drizzled on your book there what you doing Hershey syrup. Hey, Hershey syrup. I know you like it. Okay. Well, well why don't why aren't we healing our guys up here? What what are you doing? You're waving that wand like a lazy son of a mother, and you're not healing my units up. So once again, this is kind of lame the last couple of minutes, but whatever. We're taking care of our things nice and slow. Taking it taking it taking it one step at a time, and just mowing down these enemies when we can. Uh, but once again, expand out to the west, and you can use this side of the map. Saxony really won't do much to you. Uh, and might as well give a tribute to the Mongols. Oh, I need a market. And I haven't built a market yet. So let's see if I have an idle, idle villager laying around. Of course I don't. All my villagers are hard workers. Isn't that right, villagers? Ain't that right? Well, it's probably the best place to build a market would be over here in this vacant lot. It's nice to have some vacant lots. And what you can do is you can build a dock and go down these rivers and check out what's over there. Uh, search it out a little bit if you want to know the map a little bit better. So you can do that. You can build some galleys, but be careful. From, you might get a few of your galleys converted. Um, and I don't... Let's check out. I believe they can get cannon galleons, but they cannot get elite cannon galleons. But you're really too far away from any place uh, to do much damage. Unless you want to take down these walls with the cannon galleon. But it's pretty difficult to get over here. So probably won't be doing that. And as I did the stormy dog cheat, which is woof woof, you see dogs flying in the air, not pigs flying, we got dogs flying. I don't know what that would be called, what kind of meat, that's not bacon, that's not bacon. I don't know what dog meat's called, but um, have a little canis lupus for dinner. And Monk, you're going to be chilling over here closest to the Bavarian base, so you have a shorter walk. You should thank you for me for that, Hershey syrup. Um... And now we are ready to take down Bavaria. So we're going to move these units over here, trot them down. And we're two units too large for a one scan through, but whatever. we got Saxony in our... Oh, Teutonic Knights. Apparently you can't get to the Imperial Age, and you can't get Teutonic Elite Teutonic Knights like I can. So I'm just going to disown you, and look at that pool of blood. I don't know what it is and why they have more blood than other people, but apparently that's why they have so many hit points. Oh, we got some hand cannoneers sleeping over there picking their nose and sheep sheep are a good source of food don't forget keep exploring the map and that's quite a bit of gold so I'm not gonna be getting tries and spezins or just ch pies right now so I'm not gonna be touching that quite yet so we're ready to take down Bavaria in the next video. So I'm going to cut it here, and we'll be getting some more action next time. Hopefully you enjoy this uneventful part three of me dominating Swablu over there. Peace out. Boom, out of here.